Hi, this is Lizzie Smith. I'm at ESMO 2025, and we've just been to the Upper GI Orals where we had the hotly anticipated overall survival data from the Matterhorn trial. Summer 2025 at ASCO, we saw the initial results of Matterhorn. Matterhorn was a large global study that looked at the addition of Durvalumab to standard of care flot chemotherapy for patients with operable gastroesophageal cancer. What we saw in the initial readout of the trial at ASCO and in a New England Journal of Medicine paper was that adding Durvalumab to flot improved event-free survival. We didn't know yet whether that translated into an overall survival benefit for patients. What we've seen at ESMO 2025 was that indeed, adding Durvalumab to FLOT or FLOT-D does improve overall survival compared to FLOT alone. Interestingly, the overall survival benefit tended to increment over time. At the 36-month follow-up period, we could see an absolute benefit of around 7%. What's really interesting in the operable disease setting is we don't see the differential outcome according to pdl one status that we see in advanced disease. The hazard ratio for overall survival was equivalent in PDL1 positive and PDL1 negative patients. However, PDL1 negative patients do make up quite a small proportion of the population of Matterhorn, leading to reduced power for that group of patients. Nonetheless, the recommendation would be for all patients who are eligible to be treated with FLOT D as a new standard of care.